Next step in finishing this room is going to be installing the flooring. I've got my knee pads on, so I'm ready to go, and I've already vacuumed, cleaned off the surface of this floor, and I've scoured the floor for bumps and screws that might have been sticking up from this plywood. See this screw right here sticking up just a bit, so I'm gonna push that down. Got it all cleaned off, ready to go. My first step is gonna be putting down this underlayment. So I'm just gonna to have to lay it out, cut it to size, put it in place, and then I will be ready to install the flooring. After I do the flooring, I'm gonna finish trimming out around these windows. I got three windows to do. I've already got the trim for the door cut. I need to install baseboard trim and then trim around these openings. And then I'll finish up with the electrical outlets and these lights up here so a lot to do today let's get it going This underlayment all cut, taped, and trimmed around everything. That wasn't so bad. Now we're ready for the flooring. So this is the scrap from that piece that I just cut over there. I'm gonna put a full piece next to that. And I didn't feel like spending $40 on a kit. So I just have a block of wood and a hammer here. And we'll see how that works for getting all these pieces snapped together. All right, that worked. Cut a piece there, move the scrap over there, full piece, cut a custom piece, scrap over here, full piece. Blah, 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 all down the line until we're done. Oh boy. to the other side of the room. Just gotta make some custom cuts to fit around this door and then the flooring will be done. Oh yeah, got it. Oh, nice. Woo, that was a task. We got it though, nice. Done. Oh my gosh. Yes. Thank you. 
quarter, maybe one and a quarter. I know, I know, I'm getting pretty fancy with those two inch overhangs. I was gonna try and do the 45 degree angle thing here with the pieces so that they join at an angle. I like that look too, but it takes a lot longer <laughs> and the room for error is very minimal. It's very difficult to get those angles just right and for them to meet on all four corners. So I went with this, I think it's a pretty good look. Looks like 25 and 5 eighths ought to do the trick. And to cut the angle, we shall use the cardboard trick. Take a rough estimate here. Let's see how that looks. Hey, that was a pretty good guess. And then this is gonna go up like that. And I stuck my template up on the wall like that. So that means I'll make my mark like this. Draw a straighter line like that. Make it pretty. Let's see if it fits. Uh, aha! Ta-da! Nice. The gas line for this light runs up the wall right here, so I gotta notch around this line right here. Oh man, this angle is a little bit steeper.
Now for these trim pieces, I gotta set my saw to 45 degrees and cut them at an angle so that they can meet in the corner. It's actually easiest to do it on my chop saw over there, but I just don't feel like firing that thing up. The generator's so loud. I feel like this would be quick. I don't have that many cuts to make. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, I think that'll work. I only get to do this two times because there's two corners. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh yeah, nice. And the second corner. goodness yes buddy trim is not done <laughs> because I gotta buy some more lumber for the other side of the room there but we're getting really close really close yeah definitely gonna have to make a Home Depot run to finish the rest of this up but man what a huge huge accomplishment so far it's looking like a room room now a real room room <laughs> All right, so I got my goodie bag from Home Depot here. Caulk to finish the trim around here. These are for outside. This is gonna help me finish the electrical wiring for this room. Yeah, these, these will be the junction boxes so I can make my connections to the already existing wiring. Wire nuts for the wiring. Some fasteners and washers and stuff for uh, the wiring. So let's do it. Let's finish this up. All right, I got the caulking on this trim done. Now see these nail holes where I put the finish nails in. I'm gonna add some of this mud, the same stuff that I used to texture these walls. I'm gonna use that to fill these nail holes in this trim. Just like that. And that. And that. Smooth it out. I'll sand it down and then I'll paint over that. So this is a pretty unique electrical situation we've got going on here. <laughs> I've had going on here for a long time since I got the place. There's just a wire sticking up through the floor and I use it for light here in the kitchen, but I uh, later on when I rewire this whole cabin, I'm gonna run this in a different area, make it much more safe. But this is going to be the wire that I tap into to power this room. Because when I plug the generator in, there's juice to this right here. So I'm gonna pull this through the floor and I'll connect my junction box on the underside of the cabin right here. There it is. To the two wires that are running to this room, which is one for the light, one for the outlets. All right, I got dressed up for you guys and <laughs> brought a bucket of all the tools that I need to do this wiring and I'm under the cabin right now. This is the room I've been working on. There's the steps coming up into the cabin and that's the wire for the electrical outlets. And here's the wire for the lights. And this is the wire that currently has juice to it when I plug it into the generator. So this is my power in and these are the two that I'm gonna connect.
that's the wiring of this box. Grounds go with ground, white goes with white, black goes with black. This is my power in. And then one goes to the outlets, the other goes to the light switch. And the wiring of the rest of the room is just like that. So I'm going to speed through the footage of me wiring those three outlets and the two lights and the switch because it's all pretty much the same. And I'm no expert at electrical wiring. <laughs> I just know how to make it work. So I definitely don't want you guys or I, I don't want it to be like this is how you do it. And um, because I'm, I'm not an expert. So <laughs> but I'm pretty darn positive that this is going to work. So very excited to have this room wired, finally. Before I did the taping and texturing of this wall, I actually took this sheet of drywall off and I ran a wire up the wall and poked it out through for an exterior light. And that's what this extra wire is for. I don't have the light right now, so I'm not gonna wire it in. But later on when I get that light, find one that I like to go on the exterior. I'll have a switch here for a light outside this door. And then there's another space for potentially another light on that just somewhere else out there because I'm thinking maybe it would be cool to have like a chandelier out there someday. So that's why I got three openings here. Test the electrical, finally. Oh my gosh. Moment of truth. All right, this is it, this is it. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. It works, it works. Okay, what about the dim function? Oh, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. That's nice. Okay, let's check the outlets now. Oh yeah, that one works. Yes, sir, that one works. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That one works, all the outlets work. I am a master electrician. Not really, but for the moment, I feel like it. Pieces like this are all about feel. Once you get it in place, it's not about the measurement, it's just about what looks and feels right. And that looks and feels right, right there. All right, folks, the room is done, or as done as I'm going to make it. <laughs> as I always like to say, it's not perfect, but neither am I. 
The one thing I didn't finish is painting this trim around the floor. I know I said I was gonna do that, I said I was gonna tape and paint that, but I can't even see that caulking or the mud that I put on the nail holes. Looking at it with the naked eye, I can't even tell I did that. It looks like it's already painted and the caulk blends right into the walls. And so it's like, if you can't tell, then why, why paint it? <laughs> so now the only thing left to do is move furniture in here, get it looking comfy, but I'm so happy with it. Things actually turned out better than I was imagining they would. I mean, I always have confidence in myself, but it's just, you never know. And you hate to put in a bunch of work and then not be happy with the finished product, but this is something that I am really happy with. So that's a great, that's a great, great feeling for sure. Oh.